Good morning, guys. Good morning. What's up? How are you? Welcome to. No, it's not a vlog. <laughs> How are you? What's up? Linging is back with another video, and today we're gonna talk about the top five apps you need for a more convenient and better living in China. Yay! Okay, so let's just get started. The first app. The first app is for socializing and it's for you know just being able to have a very convenient life in China you probably guessed it if you've been here before if you know anything about Chinese apps well we got the WeChat or in Chinese called Weixin, Weixin, WeChat, 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 WeChat yeah so first WeChat is really important because when you meet new people in China um, especially young people we don't swap uh, like their business cards anymore we just swap WeChat information but I'm telling you when you're swapping these information please immediately when you swap them write the name you so you can remember who the person is because Chinese young people have a tendency to write nicknames um, for, for the WeChat names and it's really confusing when you want to find them again and you can't find them because they change the name and they usually also don't use uh, their own uh, profile picture like so you see the contact information with little dog as a profile picture and the name is like beep, 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 beep. you know how would you know anyway so you can choose their contact name so they can't change it yeah, you can choose that in your own app so that's really cool WeChat is also really convenient because you can uh, pay with the WeChat wallet in many different stores I'm gonna make a more specific video about that later on because that's another thing uh, you can top up your phone with WeChat, I'm going to show you that later as well, top of your phone. You can find a cap, you can send uh, the red envelopes as presents to your friends, it's money to your friends, and more and more and more, so many other things that I even haven't discovered. Yeah, there are so many possibilities with WeChat. So WeChat for socializing, for everything else, get your WeChat downloaded right as I am speaking. Another really important one, number two, is also is called Alipay. That's the English name. You can find it. Uh, it's it is in English, so you can uh, download it if you don't speak Chinese. Really convenient. Alipay. Alipay. Uh, in Chinese, it's called Zhufu Bao. Zhufu Bao. I'll write it down below as well. All my information right now. I'll write it down in the description box. So take a look there. Yeah. Um, so Alipay or Zhufu Bao. You can use that to pay. Uh, wherever you go, you can pay online, you can pay for food, you can pay in the shops, many shops. Uh, you just uh, scan the code, uh, the QR code, and then bam, bam, bam. Amazing, I'm telling you, amazing. <laughs> so yeah, get your Alipay or Jufubao for finance stuff. Very important, app number two. Okay, then we have app number three. This one is for food, for fun, activities, for cultural stuff, for New York travel, and uh, everything in between really it's very difficult to um, you know explain because there are so many possibilities within one single app so the third app is called Meituan I know I probably say it wrong because I don't know I just screw up the tone of this name uh, Meituan or Meituan Meituan I, I'm not sure I'll write it down below so sorry for that if I say it wrong but um, this one is basically you can go in there you can check out food nearby you you can uh, order why am I the takeaway? They will come to your door with the food. You can also see which restaurants are good. Where can I get some discounts? You can see where can I find my um, amour, my massage. If I want a massage, you can go and find a prospect writing, which I want to go and find very, very soon. I just haven't had the time. See about that <laughs> even though I'm not sure if this app is in English so I'm sorry for that in advance but ask a Chinese friend to help you a little bit in the beginning or install Pleco on your phone and use that it's really convenient um, and really an app you know if you sit down and look around there are lots of pictures so it kind of makes sense really fast even though your Chinese is not great so Jiayou and get those three apps okay we have number four Number four is for transport. Those, those days when you just really hate the subway and you don't want to take the bus because it's smelly, I totally get it, I have been there. <laughs> then this app is really smart. 
it is called Didi Didi Da Chua Didi Da Chua. So basically, you can find all the taxis nearby you. Um, you just write, I'm here, I want to go to there, and then uh, you click OK. And I think that part should be in English. I'm not practicing, but I think it's in English as well, uh, which could be very nice, right? <laughs> um, because it's a part of, uh, or it was in WeChat, uh, the WeChat before, so that one should be connected if I'm not wrong. Okay, I'm not saying anything, just say, no, I'm not saying, but just say. I'm not promising anything, but just say. Uh, in English so you can find taxis all around you or you can also download uber if you had uber at home when you come to China uber is working perfectly fine as well one problem is just that when you call when you're finding your driver Chinese drivers they do not look at the map and drive there where you are and find you they will call you so be prepared many foreigners they don't want to use Uber or DD because of this, because they're nervous that they don't understand what the driver is going to say. Um, customer service is not really a big thing in China, so some of the drivers can be quite angry. Like last time, a driver he called me and like, "Where are you?" and I was like, "Ah, oh, I'm at my door." And he was like, "Oh, I can't get there. You have to go and find me." And I was like, "Okay, okay, okay." And he was like, "I've already been waiting ten minutes." And I was like, "Ah, you know." Um, yeah, so I actually just bailed on him and found, found another one because I couldn't find him. But anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, that's the thing, it goes both ways, right? If they're so rude, I'm rude. Sorry for that. So Didi or Uber. <clears throat> Uber, of course, is in English, so that's uh, very smart. Uh, and Didi, I wasn't sure, so sorry for that. Um, then that was for transport. Transport. Then we have number five, number five, my favorite, number five. You already know it if you've seen some of my videos. Number five is, of course, Taobao. Taobao. And I checked, I can't find an English version of Taobao. I did try to check online as well, but I can't find an English version. Um, I know that my friend who doesn't uh, speak or read any Chinese, he just uh, checked Taobao. <clears throat> online and then he would use google translate or you know translate the whole page so it's like not the best translation but he still can get around which is very smart but again it's also a very good way to um you know when you want to do online shopping it's a good way to practice your chinese so what i did there are a lot of words i didn't know beforehand uh but then if i needed to buy something a tripod a knife a plate a sweater I would just, you know, search the word on Pleco, put it in Taobao, and then I would like search around, and then I could see, oh, they call it this, but they also call it that, and then I start searching new terms and stuff like that. So it's actually a really great way to learn something while you're still having fun. <laughs> yeah, so Taobao is just the biggest online shopping platform ever. I want to do the series on how to survive China, and I'll give you all the tips and facts and info about how to make your Chinese life even more amazing because I love it and like these apps just really make make your life uh, much more convenient here so yeah I'm definitely urging you all to uh, go and download those apps I'll put all the names in the description box below and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time have a great day evening wherever you are in the world and Li Ling is out see ya and 再见 bye bye